Will it clock? The clock, I don't know who said it. That's you, Susan? Yes. Awesome. That yes, tells it us, is. Tells us it's time to begin. So welcome, everybody. We are um, doing morning prayer. Um, if you have a prayer book and Bible handy, that's helpful. Our friend Rob Zapula is with us to do some singing. Bob Lloyd and Ginny Woodruff will do our readings, one from the Book of Lamentation. From which, by the way, we get the hymn. You all know the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. You know that hymn? Uh, it comes from this reading we'll hear this morning, if I have my facts correct. And uh, it's also a reading that is used a lot in funerals. And so we'll do that. We'll read Psalm 22, which is a psalm that is always associated with uh, Good Friday. And uh, we'll begin, I'll offer the... I'll offer the collect for, for Good Friday and a moment of silence, and then we'll begin with the confession, which starts at page 79. I'm going to invite you to mute. I'm getting a lot of um, feedback. I don't know why more than other mornings. So maybe um, if you could mute for just a minute, and then when we come to the confession, we can all say that together, and then uh, we may have to spend a little more time with you all muted this morning because um, I'm getting a lot of feedback. So. Um, let us pray. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In a moment of silence. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. At page um, 80, Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I've asked Bob if he would read for us the uh, Vanity at page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy for the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence and thanksgiving. And rise and raise and shout loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are also his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend, in the, bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand, so that today you would hearken his voice. And our psalm today is Psalm 22, that is found at page 610. I think we'll uh, dare to unmute and um, read responsively by half verse, so pausing, uh, so uh, you all take over after the asterisk. Psalm 22 at page 610. <clears throat> my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And are so far from the words of my distress. Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. 
find as well. But I find the rest. Yet you are the Holy One. Own upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted you delivered them. They cried out to you and were delivered. They trusted you and were not brought to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man. Scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, 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 him delights delight in him. him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb. And I have been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You were, you were my God. God. I was still, I was still my in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near. And there, and there is no end. May many young bulls encircle me. Strong, Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me, like a, like a red roaring lion. lion. I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint. My heart within, within my, my breast, breast is melting wax. Melting wax. Mm-hmm. My mouth is dried out like a potsherd, my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. And you, you have, have laid, laid me in, in the, the dust. dust. Acts of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. them. They, they cast, cast lots for my, my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You, you are my strength. strength. Hey, so he he to help me. me. Save me from the sword. My I from the power of the devil. Save me from the lion's mouth. My wretched body from the horns of wild bulls. I would declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in all the offspring of Israel. All, All you of Jacob's Jacob's line, the Lord. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty, nor does he hide his face from them. So but when they, they cry, cry to him, he hears them. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I perform my vows in the presence of those who worship him. him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families families of the nations nations shall bow bow before before him. him. For kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules rules over over the nations. nations. To him alone all who sleep in the earth bow down in worship. My soul shall live for him, my descendants shall serve him. They shall be known as the Lord's Lord's forever. 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 They shall come and make known to a people yet unborn the saving deeds that he has done. done. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, now will, be will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. First reading uh, read by Ginny, and if you can give the citation, that's helpful. Uh, Lamentations 3, verses 1 through 9, and 19 through 33. <clears throat> I am one who has seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. Against me alone, he turns his hand again and again all day long. He has made my flesh and my skin waste away and broken my bones. 
He has besieged and enveloped me with bitterness and tribulation. He has made me sit in darkness like the dead of long ago. He has walled me around about so that I cannot escape. He has put heavy chains on me. Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. <coughs> he has blocked my ways with hewn stones. He has made my paths crooked. The thought of my affliction and homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for one to bear the yoke in youth, to sit alone in silence when the Lord has imposed it, to put one's mouth to the dust. There may yet be hope to give one's cheek to the smiter and be filled with insults. For the Lord will not reject forever. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love, for he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Invite Rob um, Singh. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when you him in the tomb? Were you there when they him in the tomb? I'm sorry, the second reading. Second reading is from John chapter 13, verses 36 to 38. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow me afterwards. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Lay down your life for me. Very truly, I tell you, before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. The end of the reading. We'll take a moment of silence and then continue with the Apostles' Creed. It's found at page 96. I invite you to 
uh, stay on mute for that, and uh, then we'll offer our prayers. Uh, but just a minute of silence as we reflect on this day. With saints around the world and across the centuries, let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And our prayers at page 97. The Lord be with you. Also is with you. Let us pray in the words Jesus taught his friends, our Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done. on thy earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us our salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only, only in your can we live in safety. safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And God, guide us in the way of justice and truth. And truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help, help, help among, among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, the hope, of, the hope of, the of the poor be taken, taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We offer this prayer for our parish in time of transition. Almighty God, you know the needs of your church in every place. Look graciously upon the people of St. James Parish and grant us the guidance of your Holy Spirit as we move through this time of transition. Thank you for the faithful stewards you have provided and will provide for our leadership. Give us discernment, wisdom, patience, and confidence in your timing. Bless the ministry of the search committee as it begins, and especially those members of the search committee who are on the call this morning. Help us to care for each other with mutual trust, respect, kindness, and clarity of purpose. You are the good shepherd, and we ask you to shepherd us throughout this journey in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we pray for our church and the world in this time of pandemic. O oh God, our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble in this challenging and uncertain time, we come before you offering prayers on behalf of those in need. We pray for the church that it may not grow weary of proclaiming the gospel of Christ and serve as beacon of hope to a suffering world, praying for Michael, our presiding bishop, Rob, our bishop, Pierce, our interim rector, for clergy and staff and wardens and vestry and all who minister in your name. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We're all affected by the virus around the world. For the leaders of <coughs> they may work together for the common good. <coughs> Barriers that divide be brought down, that bonds of trust may be strengthened to benefit the entire human family. Grant public health and government officials in our nation the strength and will to act swiftly and decisively with wisdom and compassion in service to all. 
We pray for our president, for the Congress, for governors and mayors. Lord, in your mercy. Your prayer. Heal those who are now sick with the virus. May they have access to medical care and regain their strength and health, granting them your healing grace. Give strength to all who care for loved ones. Give strength to healthcare workers who with the heart of service stand on the front lines of providing care. Grant them courage and protection as they put the needs of the public safety before their own. Bless scientists and researchers around the world as they combat the virus that their work may yield knowledge to develop a vaccine, treatments, and improved measures to reduce its spread. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the safety and well-being of all who travel and those who remain quarantined, remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts, that confident in your providence, we may be generous in sharing our resources. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Grant that our churches and communities of faith may reflect your love as they minister to the most vulnerable among us. Fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet to all in need. We pray for those who have already lost loved ones to the virus and those who will yet suffer such loss, that they may know the consolation of your love. We pray for all who have died in the hope of the resurrection and those whose faith is known to you alone that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick. And lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 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 We offer prayers, particularly healing prayers, for those known to us in our community. Um, I invite you to add any names, if you'd like, in the column on the right, or to say them out loud after praying for Bill Hale, for Ede Baldrich and Bowdy, for Amy McComb, for Max, and any others who we mention at this time, for Wright and Eileen, for Lance and Baker and Linda. <coughs> for Laura and Laura and their families. For Uncle Bob and his family. Boyce and Louise and baby Liam and their grandparents. <laughs> and I want to invite uh, the opportunity for any Thanksgivings that you might want to offer this morning. Thanksgiving for all the musicians who've blessed us this week. I say Thanksgiving for Wes and everybody who's helping do the logistics for the flowering of the cross. Thanksgivings for healthcare workers and prayers for them and for times to be with our church family, um, for the technology that allows us to do that. Sum up our prayers by saying the general, I'll say the general Thanksgiving, it's at page 101, I invite you to read along and then afterwards, uh, Rob will, Rob will um, have one more piece of music for us. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, servants. give you humble, humble thanks, thanks for all, for your, all goodness your goodness and loving, and loving kindness, kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. Rob. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to lay aside his crown for my soul, for my soul, to lay aside his crown for my soul? To God and to the Lamb, I will sing, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb, who is the glory I am. While millions join the theme, I will sing, I will sing. While millions join the theme, I will sing. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing and joyful be. And through eternity, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And through eternity, I'll sing on. Let us pray. Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its peoples quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James Parish and other congregations represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit to unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank you, God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Thank you all for joining. I am going to meet. We have been doing this Monday to Friday, but I'm going to uh, offer prayers tomorrow for Holy Saturday, one of the important days in the life of the church. So feel free to join. Uh, feel free not to. Um, also, um, if anybody ever wants to read in the service, just shoot me an email. We are going to continue this um, as long as we're all asked to <clears throat> social dist socially distant. So, um, and uh, if you want to come, if you don't want to be on screen, you can make that possible too. So you don't have to comb your hair or something, whatever, but um, <laughs> um, just glad to be with you and honor. And I wish you all a blessed, uh, good Friday, um, God's Friday. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. Jackie. Thank you.